In this video, we're going to look at how to use a website called Cite This For Me. Now, Cite This For Me is a really useful uh, way to build your bibliography and do your Harvard referencing. So, when you uh, Google Cite This For Me, take the link and you'll come through to see this page that's setting up your bibliography. First of all, we're going to choose the citation style. Now, this is really important because there are lots of different styles and you guys are going to be using Harvard. So that's the first thing to do. Then I need to make a citation for a website that I've been looking at. So I'll click on websites, use the URL from the website. So just copy that across, paste it in and then see what the auto citation brings up. So here you can see the page that I was looking at. So I'm looking at this article on Deep Focus and it's on this page all about cinematography from Yale. So on the auto citation, just by giving it the web address, it's giving me the year it was published, the page title, which is cinematography, the website name, this class is yale.edu, and it's including the URL and the date that I've accessed it on. When I click Add Reference, that's going to add it to the document here. So you can see all that I need to do now is highlight, copy and paste this whole bibliography reference. And that's going to go in as my Harvard reference for that web page, that particular uh, part on Deep Focus. Also, I've been looking at examples of deep focus in film. So I found this YouTube video, which is an example of deep focus used in Citizen Kane. So I'm going to also need to reference that one. Now, because this is an existing film, so Citizen Kane is a film that's made in 1941. I'm just looking at the Internet Movie Database reference here. I'm actually going to reference the film itself rather than the YouTube video. So to do that, I'll just click back on Cite This For Me. I'll go to More and then to DVD, Video or Film. So on here, I'm going to use the film title. I know that the year it was published is 1941, so if you're looking any of this up, Internet Movie Database is the place to find it. The format is going to be film, the place of or origin is going to be USA, and the filmmaker, I need to find out who the director or the main producer or the studio is. So again, looking over at Internet Movie Database, I can see the director is Orson Welles. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in. Then when I click Add Reference, it's added in Citizen Kane as a bibliography reference here. So it's done all of the formatting I need, all of those kind of things. If I wanted to also uh, say where the clip is available, I could include this YouTube URL in the citation afterwards. One of the other sources that I found during my research is this uh, frame by frame video. So this is by Professor Tim Winston Dixon and he's looking at analysing uh, this whole area of deep focus. So that's been something I've been looking at in my research as well. So to reference this video, I'm going to go back to cite this for me, I'm going to go to more and then online image or video. So this allows me to uh, pick particular YouTube videos that are just published there, so things that are just published online. I'm going to add the URL. I'm going to use the title and description as it is under the video itself. I'm going to check and see what year it was published in. So I can see here that this was in 2010. I know that the format is video and it's going to give me today's date as the reference. What I also need to fill in here is the author. So here I've got a choice, either I can use the corporate author, so that would be the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, so that's sometimes 
the name that would be uh, there as the YouTube channel. But in this case, because I can see uh, the name of the, the professor, I'm going to use that one instead. So popping it in here, we've got first name is Wheeler and then Winston Dixon as surname. So adding reference again, you'll see also that this has made them uh, alphabetical on the list here. So Winston Dixon is in last. And then all I'd need to do to add that to my bibliography is again cut and paste it across. If you have a look in the more section, you'll see there are loads of different reference types. So you'll always be able to find the one that you need. When you click on each different one, just follow those boxes, fill in those boxes as best you can, and that'll give you all the reference information that you need to include.